Hey girl, it's Coach B. Wiley. So I wanted to talk to you really quick and let you know that when you don't feel like doing something, you must push yourself to do it. And I literally mean force yourself. This applies to everything. Today, I did not want to work out. My life is dragging me down. I am tired. I'm exhausted. However, <coughs> excuse me, I do know that are some changes physical as well as on the inside that I want to see. And so I push myself to go to the gym and I was like, all right, I'm just going to do cardio and see where that takes me. Well, I broke my score in cardio, meaning I beat out the mileage. I did the most miles. I burned almost 50 plus more calories than I usually burn. And I was like, all right, well, let me throw in some squats on the end of that. And then come into the sauna and talk to you to let you know that how this applies to everything in your life it specifically applies to when you're dating. Sometimes when things don't end up the way you want them to because you liked old boy so much, you dated him for so long, you just knew that this was going to be it and your dude and your person, and then it flips on you for whatever the reason may be, and it does not work out, and he no longer sees you in that light, he no longer wants you in his life, you have to force yourself to let that go. You have to force yourself to get out of your feelings, you have to force yourself to quit going on his social media. You have to force yourself to stop looking at the text thread and actually delete the text thread. You have to force yourself to stop thirst trapping on the internet. You have to force yourself to try to get his attention in any sense of the word or way. And then force yourself to move on. And while you're moving on, force yourself to work on the things that you know you've been wanting to work on the things that dating him may have shined a light on and the things that maybe your gut, your spirit, God, the universe has been telling you, you've been putting these things off too long. Cause I'm here to tell you what you won't force yourself to do when you just don't feel like it because it's work. And really, do we really want to do the work? Probably not. However, when you don't and outright refuse to force yourself to do right by yourself, <laughs> life be life in, and life has a way to come back around and shove you in the right direction. I don't want you to be shoved. I've been shoved before and it's no fun when you have to get back up. So do yourself a favor, whoever that guy is, whoever you're admiring, who just don't see you like that, who might've put you in the friend zone, whoever you just got out of the situation with, whoever you're dating right now and you like them more than they like you and they're not being consistent, and they're sending you mixed signals. Whatever your situation may be, if it was a breakup and you're just heartbroken, I need for you to do one thing and one thing only. Put one foot in front of the other and force yourself to go in a different direction and learn how to pivot and just receive the lessons from that experience and then apply them to your next experience. Because as long as you keep your feet right here on solid ground, refusing to go and to pivot and to see what's next, you will then utterly just waste your own time and utterly stop time from going. And I believe stop allowing the right people to naturally and organically flow into your life. If you have to force something with him, then it's not meant to be. So the best thing you could do if you don't force anything is force yourself to be the best version you can be Force yourself to get beyond that dude. Force yourself to receive that, all right, just because it didn't work out with him, that doesn't mean I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. Force yourself to believe that you deserve better. See, the thing is with a lot of us women, we're so busy pulling and pushing and tugging on a dude that wants nothing from us. And if we use that same energy, excuse me, on ourselves, imagine how far we could be in our education, on our careers, in our businesses, on our bodies, whatever. Sky's the limit with our children. So busy yourself with people, places, and things that consider you and want to be busy with you. You got it? Let me know in the comments.